a bird? That's absurd. It's the silliest thing I've ever heard. I'm just plain Albert. Ah. Yeah. I'm just plain Albert. Oh, yeah. I've got something to say about how nature should work. In the natural way. In the natural way. We can check out the world. Way up in the sky Though I'm not a bird I know how to fly With a snap of the fingers I can be As small as a pea Or as tall as a tree When my pocket's filled With all kinds of stuff Exploring nature Should be easy enough So come along with me And be my guest Remember, Albert says, Nature knows best. Nature knows best. Nature knows best. Just my luck to break down in the middle of Transylvania. Hopeless. I have to wait for sunlight to load up the battery. Whoa! It's amazing the sounds you hear in the dark. Feels like my ears are working overtime. <whistles> Typical. Now I can't see where I'm going. Watch out! Oh. Too late. Sorry. I thought you could see where you were going. Who are you? How come you can see in the dark? I don't really see things. I hear them. Ah. Ah. Where are you? I'm right in front of you. Ah. Hey, you. You're not a vampire, are you? Shh. Six seconds, one and a half miles away. What? The storm is about one and a half miles away. You can work it out by counting the seconds between the lightning and thunder. Hmm. What? Sound travels 350 yards a second. So six seconds means one and a half miles? Hey! Correct! Interesting. But how come you can see in the dark? I told you, I don't see things. I hear them. Could you give me a demonstration for my special sound visualization goggles? <laughs> no problem, man. I send out a signal that is reflected back to me by any object it hits, like that tree there. Or that moth there. Wow! That's fantastic. It works like a radar for planes. If you say so. I could see the sound waves, but I couldn't hear them. Hmm. Sound has many different frequencies. That means I can hear sounds that you can't, and you can hear sounds that I can't. Can you hear the new day arriving? Yeah, but days are boring. 
I prefer nightlife. I've got to find a good place to rest, stranger. <sighs> Bye. I'm Albert. My car battery's dead, and I might as well spend a day or two here. Why don't you join me? Yeah. Why don't I? You could hitch a ride on my back. Good night. Good morning. I've never really paid much attention to sound. That raven is squawking a warning. And the young ones are telling their mother they're hungry. That frog is croaking for a mate. is guarding its territory, warning everyone off. Shh! You'll wake him up. In nature, all these noises have a purpose. Noise! It's part of our lives. Let's hear what the city sounds like. like without sound. Let's try something. Hey, what's going on? I'm trying to sleep already. I was just showing how the world would be without noise. Uh, give me a break. I'll take you to a quieter place. I've got an idea for a sound experiment. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> morning, class! Good morning, Albert! Today, we're going to measure different tones. As you can see, the monitor reacts to my voice by displaying sound waves. Raise your hands, or pause, if you can hear me. Good. Everyone can hear me. We'll start with the deep tones. Jumbo, you first. Say, mm, something. I didn't do my homework last night. Everyone who heard that, put your hands up. You didn't hear anything, Mouse? No, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> That's okay. Let's try again. Why couldn't I hear it? Because you don't need to. <gasps> A cat! <gasps> it's not important for you to hear <gasps> him. It's important for you to hear me and me to hear you. As you can see, some animals can hear sounds that others can't. Now, this sound is very high, and only a few of you will be able to hear it. What's going on? Is there another bat here? 
too bad? No. <gasps> Are you okay? That sound signals danger to me. Dropping is my way of escape. Ah, a moth. Take it easy. Nobody's going to eat anyone in my classroom. <sighs> well, try not to involve me in your experiments. Okay. Ah, everyone can hear that tone. That was how to measure tone. Now I'd like to measure noise. This machine measures sound in decibels, or dB, on the display. Whispering reads at 30 decibels. Albert! Hey, do you know this guy? That's a long story. So this guy flies away and leaves his dinghy. <laughs> That's him! Speaking reads at 50 decibels. Typical. Can't remember me. Traffic between 70 and 90 decibels. do that to themselves. Maybe because it's so nice when it stops. What? One hundred and thirty decibels! Ridiculous! I don't need to make noise like that to fly. Wait! You... Mayday! Mayday! Come in, Control! Oh! oh, I couldn't hear anything. Take it easy. That plane was too loud for you to hear your own sound waves. Ears are very sensitive. Prolonged exposure, even to traffic noise, can damage them. And too much noise can actually make you sick. Hmm. I can believe that. The noise of the plane made me panic. My heart is still racing. I'm so sorry. Listen, I'm really tired. <laughs> Let's find a quiet tree and turn in. After this crazy day, I bet you'll have nightmares. drop of water. It's not loud. After a while, the water drops start to get on your nerves. You 
can't get away from them. They seem to be exploding in your head. In fact, the dripping can drive you crazy. Noises delay your reaction times. They can also cause your pulse and, and blood pressure to increase. Sound can frustrate you. Ah. As well as relax you. Continual loud noise can lead to nausea, stomach ache, and heart attacks. Hey, any noise over 120 decibels physically hurts the body. No! I told you. These noises are going to follow you into your dreams. Yeah, they really freak me out. I'm still a bit shaken. Okay, then let's spend some time with a few friends of mine. That will calm you down. Hey! What? Wait! Where are we going? To the zoo! <sighs> it's all right for our friends, the elephants. They can shut their ears. Whoa! Yeah, lucky them. <laughs> we can shut our eyes and mouths, but not our ears. So, if people can't shut out noises, and if it's harmful, why do they make so much of it? Some noise is difficult to avoid. Airplanes, industrial machinery, traffic, and, and other noises? People have different tastes in noise. I'll show you. Woke up this morning Cruel school blues, mama, running round my head. Ooh. Or, ooh, my daddy bought me a big Cadillac. I tipped it down and I painted it black. Going to Memphis with my suitcase in the back. Yeehaw! Oh. Irony, 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 irony. One, two, three, four. I really hate my front door. Don't wanna go out. Wanna stay in and shop. Don't wanna go to school cause I don't like the rules. Stop! Stop! I see what you mean. Noise is subjective. Not everyone likes the same sound. You've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, the zoo will be closing in 10 minutes. Please stop feeding the animals and make your way to the exits. Oh, looks like a new night is beginning.
Play it next door. Kids, what a day. What? I said, what a... I'm glad that where I live, it's not as loud as it is here. I'll show you. Care for a disaster scenario? The world population is increasing. More people means more houses, more streets, more traffic, more noise. People will have to wear government-recommended ear protection. But because no one will be able to hear what's being said, they'll have to communicate in sign language. Some people will seek isolation from noise by building sound protection walls around them. Others will start to compete with the noise. They'll take their noises with them. It'll get louder and louder. Half of the population will be in hospitals because they're ill from the noise. Stop! You've got a scary imagination, Albert. Well, maybe I got carried away a bit. I don't think so. It's pretty bad already. All that noise! I wish I had a button to turn it off. As a matter of fact, I've got that button right here. Come on, I'll show you how things could improve. You can start with yourself. Why not turn the volume down a bit? Huh? Tampering with the exhaust system of your motorbike might make it a bit faster, but it also makes it four times louder. Cool! There are technical ways to make machines soundproof. Well done, Albert! A good deal of noise can be absorbed by planting trees between the streets and the houses. This makes the road smaller, reduces noise, and looks great. And people will spend more time here instead of driving into the green belt outside the city. And if everyone would drive solar-powered cars, well... which reminds me of my own solar car. You mean you have to leave? Uh, I'm afraid, uh, yes. But we're having a party tonight. Sounds tempting, but let me check. Yeah, the sun recharged the battery. Are you sure you don't want to stay for the party? Maybe another time. But my friend lives just around the corner, and he's of royal blood. Royal blood? What do you mean? He's a count. He lives in that nice castle over there. Sorry, but uh, mm, I don't have anything to wear. Bye. Bye. A party in Transylvania. 
doesn't sound like a good idea to me. 